What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I am finally doing a Sephora sale recommendations video. It's been forever and usually I'm just like kind of behind the game and I don't plan <laughs> ahead enough but you should see this at least a couple of days before the sale even begins even for rouges. It has been a year and a half well it's been a year and a few months since I worked at Sephora and I do miss being there and getting to see all the new launches and the new products holiday launches all of that good stuff um, so I have not spent as much money at Sephora this year like actually I'm not even going to be a rouge next year like usually I make rouge by like March and this year I'm not making rouge but it's just been because I've been trying to use products that I have be more frugal about buying things that I really don't need but when it comes to skincare makeup hair care body care literally a little bit of everything I have a lot of favorites at Sephora and my recommendations are purely focus on things that I really, really love. I could go on and on and on, but I'm not going to. So we're gonna keep it simple. I have a few products from like every category that you can think of, but not a ton of everything, literally just my favorites. Um, I will have a favorites video coming that is more than Sephora. Lots of drugstore, lots of more affordable products. So if you're more into that, I will have a video coming very, very soon. Um, and I'm gonna talk about all my favorites from this year, but some of the products today I've used for years. Some of them are new to me. I have a laundry list of things. So without further ado, let's get into it. Obviously you guys want to know when is the sale, what's the sale, what's going on. So starting this Friday on November 5th, Rouges can shop with the 20% discount from November 5th until the 15th. VIB is going to be 15% off and that's going to start on Tuesday, November 9th. Everybody gets to shop through the 15th. So the important part is when do you get to begin to use your discount? So VIB on Tuesday, November the 9th, and then everybody else can start shopping on the 11th, which is next Thursday. So if you're not a beauty insider, you can simply sign up and get the 10% off. So I'm going to start with a random kind of product. I have tried to find things that would take the place of this because it's pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie, but for me, I always get the value size of it and it is still the most amazing brush cleaner ever even though yeah I spend like 60 bucks on this it lasts me a really long time so Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner is just a staple for me it is so so good this is definitely meant to be more of like a professional type item but it just cleans your brushes so effortlessly so what I do is just take my brush I actually pour mine into a small spritz bottle which you can actually get on the website as well but I pour it and a spritz it and then wipe it off on a little makeup removal towelette but I mean it just dries super super fast it leaves it with a light like vanilla ish type scent which I really like I've heard people say that they don't like the scent but honestly I think it's really nice and I do use also their brush soap but I only deep clean my brushes every so often this is for any time I use my especially eyeshadow brushes because I go through them like crazy speaking of my eye look this watery eye is killing me. So if you see that like blank spot, <laughs> it's my eye. So anyway, long story short, this is the most amazing brush cleaner. Nothing that I have used really matches up. This is the one I would recommend and they sell it at Sephora. So if you wanna try it, get it while you have a discount because that is the time to get it. Also, when I think about the sale, I always think, do I want to buy a fragrance because that's the time that you get the best discount on it. And I have a new favorite and an old favorite. If I could only pick one fragrance to wear, forever it would be this it is the Maison Margiela replica by the fireplace their fragrances are meant to evoke feeling and memory and by the fireplace literally it smells super warm it says that it is burning wood and chestnut do not let that scare you if you can find it and smell it I promise you it is amazing and it is a female male fragrance it is unisex anybody can use this which Anybody can wear any fragrance. No matter what you want to wear, wear it. Doesn't matter if it's men's, women's, whatever. But this one is specifically meant to be unisex. So I will tell you, if I spray this on my skin, it starts out kind of woody, smoky, but it turns very sweet on me personally, which I like. But it's a sophisticated, warm, smoky sweetness that is very different from, you know, like, 
I don't want to say immature, but younger smelling fragrances that aren't complicated. This one is sophisticated. She's complicated. She's, you know, you got to really get to the, the deeper level of the fragrance. And then I worked with a guy who wore this and it smelled incredible on him. Like I love the way it smelled on him, but it smelled very different. If I spray it on my clothing, it will keep a little bit more of that smoky woodiness. It just feels like a snowy Christmas day. It feels like a cabin with the fireplace going and there's snow outside. Like this just feels like that. I'm going to spray some more on because <laughs> I cannot get enough. I love to spray it on my skin and my clothes. I want it to linger and it does last a really long time. I, I love this fragrance. I could go on and on and on about this fragrance, but I'm gonna shut up. I also have a couple fragrances from Ellis Brooklyn that I really love. My number one choice has been B. I got this many, many months ago. It was actually sent to me, I think from Octoly and I wound up loving it. This one I feel like is very year round. Like it has a little, a little bit of a fresh floral, but it smells sweet. But once again, a sophisticated sweet. I don't want you to think of this as like pink sugar. It's not that basic, which I like pink sugar too. <laughs> I do like sweet things. That's what I'm drawn to. So that's what I'm going to recommend to you. But this one, it just has like a freshness to it as well. But I still feel like it's a great fall fragrance. I think it's really, really year round. I wore it through the summer. It feels like warm, but fresh. And it's, it's hard for me to describe this one, but I have found that Ellis Brooklyn fragrances are really, really beautiful. And I'm glad I gave them a chance because for a while I never tried any of their fragrances and now I really, really love them. And they also sent me these super amber, which on its own is not really my thing. It smells like a little bit more like earthy kind of woody smell but mixed with this ooh, it's really really nice and i would recommend if you don't like sweet fragrances check out the super amber it's a more simplistic fragrance but it's great to mix so those are my fragrance recommendations i'm keeping it simple there's a lot more that I like. There's actually more fragrances that I'd like to own, but those are my choices for now. Now, body care products. I have recommended the same thing for body care for a while, so sorry, <laughs> but it just tells you how much I love it. I'm very consistently in love with this. The Sol de Janeiro, it is not a surprise to anyone. I have a Brazilian foreplay in my shower right now. This is the shower gel. It is moisturizing. It has the scent. It has the boom boom scent. I always, I keep saying boom bum I for will forever say bum bum because I just do <laughs> but I know it is technically boom boom is how it's pronounced and it is um of course the boom boom cream from Sol de Janeiro it is meant to be kind of like firming and tightening but honestly the thing I love about it more than anything else is the scent it is just an out of this world scent this is actually a new one I have a little open one I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it on my hands I also like that this doesn't compete with fragrances that I like so if you like sweeter fragrances and you don't want something that is going to completely like combat your fragrance this is really beautiful oh also if you don't like wearing heavy perfumes and you want a light beautiful scent that people will smell on you but is not crazy strong this is the way to go and I just like using both of them because I feel like the scent lasts a little bit longer they do have the spray and you can also get a perfume in it so if you wind up really really loving the fragrance you can get the Charosa fragrance I can't remember what number that is but you'll be able to find it they have they have a lot of products they all smell amazing but the boom boom is definitely my favorite this packaging my go-to but i do have a different favorite when it comes to body scrub this is the herbivore i actually have one in my shower and they sent me a new one which i'm like oh my god thank goodness so this is the coconut oil body polish coco rose and i absolutely love herbivore products i do have another recommendation or two for skincare but i'm very picky with body scrubs and i don't know why that is but most of the time I get a body scrub and I just use it to use it up, you know? I don't really enjoy it, but this one is really nice. Now, rose is not normally my favorite. I just, I don't know what it is. The smell of just like rose scented stuff is not something that I'm going to gravitate towards. This smells like, 
I don't know how to describe it. It smells a little bit like rose, don't get me wrong, but the coconut just kind of like makes it a little bit nicer, but the smell is not really the reason. I love the way that the scrub leaves my body. Like I feel very smooth, but very moisturized at the same time. So I love to use this and just literally rinse it off. And I really don't feel the need to wear lotion afterwards because my skin is just so richly moisturized. It does have, of course, the coconut oil, but I don't know, just something about it is so, so nice. So if you wanna treat yourself and get something really pampering or if you're shopping for a gift I would definitely recommend this gift to you okay now I have several skincare recommendations but I tried to keep it kind of simple and not like seven moisturizers something like that because I could <laughs> I could recommend a lot but I'm keeping it like pretty pretty simple so first off I want to tell you that my favorite skincare tools again with anything higher price get it with your discount so first off my pmd clean has become my favorite cleansing device i used to use a clarisonic and yeah i was kind of sad that they went away but i find that i really really enjoy my pmd i also love the handle of this it's just very ergonomic it's easy um the only thing i don't like about foreos is that they're awkward to hold like you're holding it like this where this makes so much more sense to me and you can get into the crevices around the nose and then the back side is your massaging side so i kind of want to upgrade to the pro that has the rose quartz on it uh, but I don't need to because I actually have multiple PMDs. So I, ha I keep one in my shower and then I keep one at my sink. I keep one at my vanity. So you can do so many things with these. But if you just want something that help you deep cleanse, um, you don't have to change out a brush head. It's just silicone, which keeps it clean. And you just massage it, cleanse your skin with it. It's super easy. And then also this year, I got the PMD pro so this is their microdermabrasion little thing at home which is your tool and i really like that it comes with a case it used to not to and usually i'm like oh don't send me extra stuff but this case is perfect you've got your little heads in here i just used this a couple of days ago i try to remember to use it once a week but sometimes like twice a month because i do enjoy exfoliation in various forms so i never like overdo it with one form of exfoliation because i like to kind of change it up but if you're into manual exfoliation like this this device basically spins it has a little bit of suction and these little tips help to exfoliate you just kind of glide it hold your skin taut glide 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 upward motions it just does a really really great exfoliation especially if you're like me and you have texture on your skin or you have trouble with pores i would totally recommend getting one of these if you're interested they have the regular too but this is the pro it just leaves my skin so incredibly smooth definitely don't exfoliate in any other manner the day that you use this i do this and then i use all very gentle products on my skin that day and then the next day i'm back to normal totally good but it does a really good like serious exfoliation if that makes sense your skin will feel like baby baby smooth one other type of exfoliation that i have done all year long this is actually a brand new bottle um this is the jumbo size but i went through an entire regular size bottle of the glow 2 dark spot toner from ula hendrickson it does have ahas to exfoliate your skin so it is going to help remove those dead skin cells it is much gentler than using a device obviously but this is something you can do every single day and to balance your ph so this is one of my my favorite favorite toners I honestly keep going back to it because I try other ones and they're either not effective enough or maybe they're a little bit too harsh on my skin and this one is just like that perfect level of it feels like it's working but it's not irritating at all and yeah I love Ula Hendrickson products Speaking of that, while we're talking Ula Hendrickson, the other product I want to recommend is the Cold Plunge Pore Mask. There are many masks that I keep going back to, and this is definitely one of them. It feels amazing on the skin, first off. My pores definitely look nicer when I'm using this, and I do have one other mask to recommend. Both of them are more pore-oriented because those are the masks that I tend to think are the most effective, and pores are also a big concern of mine. But this one just leaves your skin feeling very reinvigorated 
tightened, that kind of thing. So I use this when I really want to feel like my pores are nice and tight. I do use a different mask when it comes to clearing the pore out. It may seem a little bit redundant, but they just do different things for me. So the other one is Super Mud. I know that this is not new. I know this has been around for years. I know that a lot of people used to talk about it and maybe don't talk about it as much anymore. But when it comes to clearing my pores and breakouts, Super Mud is still one of my absolute go-to products. I also use Super Cleanse, which I really enjoy as well. Super Cleanse is not as harsh, but obviously something you can use every day. But this one really helps to clear out the pores. If I'm having a hard time with my pores, when I use this, my pores will go from looking dark and very noticeable to lighter and not as clogged and it'll help bring things to the surface. Whereas the cold plunge, I feel like is just really great at tightening the pore up, good for maintaining. So I alternate between them just depending on what I really need. If my pores are in really, really bad shape, I'll start with super mud and then maybe a day or two later use this. So I wouldn't use them like back to back on the same night. I probably could, it would be just fine, but especially if you're sensitive, I wouldn't recommend that, but I really love them. I didn't talk about hair care. I do have a lot of favorites. IGK dry shampoo is a favorite. I love Verb Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. I use Pureology Shampoo and Conditioner. So there's a lot of things that I really, really enjoy, but when I have to choose and break down like what's my favorite hair products, especially when we're talking Sephora, it's Olaplex. Um, this to me has been something that has saved my hair because I've been doing a lot of damage on my hair the last year. And so I've continued to use Olaplex number three. It's a bond repair treatment. So use this kind of like a mask, but it's not a hydrating mask. It literally is meant to help repair. So I will leave this on my hair for a couple hours before I shampoo. I try to remember to do it once a week. I'm definitely bad at remembering that, but I do think that this is really, really nice. But this gets used more often. This is the number seven bonding oil, also from Olaplex. I am in love with this oil and it looks like this little guy wouldn't last that long, I promise you. I had my previous bottle for like a year, but I put this in my hands and run it through all the ends and lengths of my hair and this just helps to smooth everything out. It does have ingredients to continue that reparative bonding process, but it also has those other ingredients to help repair and bond your hair. So I love these two. The shampoo and conditioner is good too, don't get me wrong. I have number zero which I've used which I do like I like the entire system but if you had to choose number three and number seven are my picks for the best and the most necessary all right a couple more skincare items I always get questions like what's your favorite makeup remover and I have several that I like I talked about in my empties where I would rank them and this is my number one so I'm just going to talk about my number one I mean I could tell you that pharmacy green clean is in my top three I have a more affordable one in my top three which I will talk about in my favorites video but this is my number one this is Lancome Meal and Mousse so this is a foaming cleansing makeup remover with honey so I have had multiple bottles of this I want to say this is my fourth bottle of this but anytime I'm shopping a sale I just go ahead and get another one because I love it so much and I have been hopping around and using different makeup removers there are a lot out there that will get the job done but this is my favorite <laughs> it's a little bit liquidy a little bit of a thick liquid but when you pump this into your hands and massage it into dry makeup it warms and there's just something about the process of when I'm massaging it in and just adding a touch of water it turns like milky and foamy but it's warming up and I just feel it does the most amazing job of breaking down all my makeup and I've tried a ton of makeup removers but this is still my favorite yes it's a little pricier than some of your more affordable ones for sure and totally you can get by using them. I also love that this is in a pump. That's the only thing I don't like about jar makeup removers is like digging my hands in or I always lose the spatulas. I mean, you usually get one, I lose them. I don't know where they go. But with this one, you can just pump it right into your hands and I love that it's a little less messy. No, that's not the most important thing, but yeah, there you have it. I love this makeup remover and nobody talks about it. It is so good. All right, a serum, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Drops. I have just been loving these for kind of like a pre-makeup 
serum but you can use them anytime they give like a subtle glow to the skin but they do also brighten your skin over time so this is kind of like that option where you really want glowy skin you want your skin to look super healthy and juicy this kind of does it all because you get the instant effect and you get the long lasting effect so this is just a beautiful beautiful product i've gotten a backup of this already very happy to have it and then another herbivore product i want to talk about is emerald i am in love with face oils and i found that i'm pickier than i thought i was with face oils because for a while i would just you know pick up something that i had there massage it in pat it on my skin and be done but i feel like this is the best one this is my second one so this is the cannabis sativa is hemp deep moisture glow oil also just it will leave your skin looking very juicy very glowy but it feels so soothing moisturizing and comforting to my skin so this is an absolute favorite i also really love the bakachul oil which i don't know where my bottle is <laughs> i do have a backup of it but i have one that i'm like almost empty and i cannot find it maybe i put it in my empties i don't know but i love that one too as an alternative to harsh retinol it's a gentle kind of retinol alternative so i would definitely recommend that one too but emerald just has my heart and I'm so glad I have another bottle. <laughs> so yeah, love that one. I've been very, very picky about moisturizers lately to the point of just kind of just using them to, you know, just to use something. And then I always find that I enjoy my oil a little bit more, but I do have a new favorite that I would totally recommend to you guys. It's the Alpen Beauty Triple C Brightening Bounce Cream. So this one I haven't had very long, but I'm really, really liking it. It's been a while since I got a moisturizer and was actually really excited about it. So the texture of this one, it's kind of hard to describe, but Bounce Cream is the best way to describe it. It's like a light pink it has like this bouncy texture and it's creamy but not incredibly thick like it's definitely creamy enough if you are dry and you want something with some moisture but if you're not and you're a little bit oily i think you'll still really really love this it's just the most amazing texture mm, it smells good too but i don't know how else to describe it like my skin just feels like buttery moisturized just incredibly comfortable when I'm using this and yeah I can't I mean I can't say enough good stuff about it I'm very very pleased I've not used it very long so I won't talk about long-term brightening benefits but it's just a, it's finally a moisturizer that's got me excited and I haven't been excited lately I've gotten so picky about texture when it comes to moisturizers that again it's just another product that I have been just using one up using one up and just kind of going through the motions but this finally got me excited about moisturizer again and really good ingredients as well. And this is a vegan moisturizer. I've been paying attention to more for, you know, cruelty-free vegan products, um, what type of ingredients are going into them. And that one just kind of checks all the boxes. So I like it. I don't have a ton in the way of makeup that I want to talk about. As for palettes, because palettes is usually the one thing that I'm like, oh, it's, it's sale time. Let me see what palettes. But I feel like the selection of higher end palettes lately has just been meh. Like I don't even know how I feel about them. Of my favorite palettes from Sephora, my Norvina palettes are my favorites. Um, they are more colorful, but that is usually me. <laughs> Today I have on Natasha Denona, which if you were going to buy shadow from Sephora right now, honestly, the only thing I can recommend is getting Natasha Denona. Get whatever palette color story you're excited about and you will love the quality. I realize now that it, it takes some getting used to using those formulas if you're used to cheap eyeshadow. And when I say cheap, I don't mean just dollar amount. I mean cheaply made. Sometimes they're expensive and cheap. You know what I mean? But when you're going from low quality to high quality eyeshadow, specifically Natasha Denona, it's just different because you might be used to chalky not so pigmented drier formulas and then you use Natasha Denona and it's creamy and it's super pigmented and it's almost like okay what am I doing <laughs> um you would just it's just such a difference like this is such a simple look but it was so easy to create with Natasha Denona shadows so that's really my only recommendation when it comes to eyeshadow so what I have are just some favorites so milk Hydro Grip Primer, this has still been a favorite of mine. I keep going back to it because of the way it feels and the way it grips my makeup on. So it literally, Hydro Grip tells you everything you need to know about it. It is a hydrating primer. It adds a moisturized feeling to the skin. 
and it does have a little bit of like tackiness but in a good way it feels like it's holding your makeup in place things aren't moving around as much and I find that when I use this over a simple like moisturizing primer that everything just stays in place a bit more I can do more blending on the face without worrying that I'm just going to be moving foundation around speaking of foundations my two favorites and I have not found a foundation this year that actually oh that's not true I need to grab one more okay I almost forgot I did find one foundation this year that really got me excited well at least when it comes to high end first off my two favorites which are kind of similar this I just have to give a little bit of edge to the NARS I just can't quite put my finger on why that is but NARS natural radiant longwear foundation and the Anastasia luminous foundation very similar to me um what I find with this one is that I don't know how to describe this when you put on a foundation sometimes you'll find that the powder and liquid in the foundation kind of wants to separate a little bit and sometimes it can be so minute that you don't even notice it i just find that this one it holds its own very well like it's it's thoroughly mixed together i never pick up this foundation and feel like i need to um, shake it in order to get the ingredients back together if that makes sense and this one really i don't experience that either but that's the best way i know how to describe it it's just like this tiny slight difference between the two but this is my number one favorite all-time foundation that i have ever used it's radiant it really does last a long time it's lightweight but really really good coverage and then this is just like right up there they're both really really good this is almost as good anytime that i want a really good foundation day i usually reach for these i do have to mention though that the lys triple fix serum foundation has become another favorite for me so it's got hyaluronic acid turmeric and ashwagandha this is also a black owned brand which for a while now a couple years maybe i've been looking for more black owned women brands that's kind of what i've been on the hunt for just finding good ones even smaller brands and their brand is not giant but they are on Sephora so shout out to them but this foundation is also really really nice it's a little bit more I don't know how to describe it like these have a little bit more like luminosity to it almost a little bit of a dewiness to it this doesn't have really have that dewiness effect it still feels hydrating but more water-based if that makes sense it's just like a little bit of a difference but i really love this foundation it doesn't crease bad on me which that's a big prerequisite for me is does it crease really bad in my smile lines all of them crease on me 100 period point blank but the ones that don't crease really bad that i can just kind of tap and fix that's what i'm looking for so i would totally recommend this foundation as well speaking of lys i recently got their no limits matte bronzer i've maybe only had this for like a month but i really like it also i don't know why i just love the triangular packaging and this bronzer is only 18 it's really affordable but it has a beautiful tone to it most of this i use today by the way if i'm talking about makeup i've used it today so it just has a really beautiful kind of warm but not too orange kind of warm great for fair skin this one is the light one called motivate they do have other shades of course so i really like their bronzer as well one more bronzer recommendation when it comes to face color i've really been liking a lot of patrick ta lately it's just been something i've been enjoying and this is the she's statuesque that's the shade cream contour and powder bronzer i love this because you get both in one so you've got your cream contour you got like a little little cover for it and it is a little bit cooler not so warm and then you have a powder bronzer i love that it's together it makes it really nice great for travel because you get both in one and the quality is just really nice in patrick ta face products there is enough pigmentation to where it works but not so much that you like can easily overdo it some bronzers like you just go in with it and it's like all over you all of a sudden and it's it's very pigmented and dark and with this one it's got the pigment but you can still start light and build it up if you want so i really like that one as well and then the other patrick ta product is blushes i have two i have she's passionate 
I dropped it and it didn't break. <laughs> I have She's Passionate, which is kind of like a peachy pink. And then on today, I wore She's Seductive, a little bit more neutral, like a mocha pink, which is a beautiful neutralish kind of blush. It's also a little bit deeper, so it's not like super pale. And I love both of these. I haven't tried the Rare Beauty cream blushes. That's the only other ones that I'm like, oh, I want to try those so badly because so many people have talked so well about them. But I have these and I love them. For brow products, Benefit is my current go-to and what I've been loving. I got their Pal Made a while back. This is their Brow Pomade. And I really love this. I also think it's kind of genius which I use this today, so it's messy, that you have this little section for you to like clean off your brush, but also just to kind of store the right amount of product there, swipe it, get off the excess product and just use what you need. And then I really love their brush as well. So I'm using the Benefit Double Ended Brow and Spoolie. I have on shade three warm light on my brows and it is wonderful. This actually took the place of my, um, what's it called? Dip brow, this took the place of dip brow. It's a little bit kind of creamier, but they're pretty similar. Like if you like one, you'll probably like the other, but this has been my go-to. My ultimate favorite from Benefit, I use this no matter what brow product I'm using, I use this brow setter, 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. It has amazing hold. I love the brush, cause you have a double-sided brush. So you've got long and short bristles. I just kind of brush it through. I put kind of a heavier coat and then because my hair is kind of want to just stick up, I just pat it down and you can feel like touching my brow. It's got a little hold to it, but it doesn't feel stiff, like super stiff. Just the best. I also use this sometimes to tame flyaways and baby hairs, kind of keep those down a little bit. The very last thing, this is new and I have it on today and I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I have kind of like a little glow everywhere. That's actually powder. I love the dewy look of makeup when you have it on and you haven't fully powdered your skin, but I hate that feeling. Like I have to powder all my face. I cannot just put on foundation and go. I don't like the feeling, it creases more, it doesn't wear as long, but this is the new Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Light Catcher. This is much better than their other luminous powder that they came out with. I mean, it's just like 10 times better. If you tried the old one, you'll like this one better. I have Celestial Light, but there are other shades. And and this is the like light version. It could honestly be a little bit lighter, but it still works. Like I'm pretty pale right now and it still works well for me. And it just gives like this overall glow to the skin that looks like you're not powdery. Does that make sense? Like it almost looks like dewy skin, but in a good way. I don't know how to put that. <laughs> you don't look oily. You just look like you have like a little subtle sheen and glow to the skin. It's beautiful. I would totally, recommend this one. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. I just started using this recently, but I just feel like it leaves my skin like all through here and here. I don't look dry, but I also don't look oily. It's just like a nice healthy sheen. So, okay, that is enough. That is everything. I have talked for 45 minutes. Oh my God. <laughs> so those are my recommendations for the Sephora sale. I'll go ahead and put the information down below too, just like dates and stuff if you wanna double check that. And then of course, remember, if you're not a Beauty Insider, it's super, super simple to sign up if you wanna get the 10% discount, which is the 11th through the 15th. And there's also so many holiday sets and launches coming too. So apart from everything I recommended, check out the holiday kits, the value kits, Sephora favorites kits, because those are always super fun. That was like how I started my makeup collection was Sephora favorites kits. I would get like the ones that specifically had full sizes. And I was just, I really thought I was something <laughs> with my like 20 products. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend checking those out too. That's kind of what I'll be looking at. Like, mm -hmm, what can I get? It and new launches too. So anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging with me. I hope you enjoyed the recommendations. If there's anything I didn't talk about that you have questions, drop questions down below, whether it's like what, what I might recommend for your skin, um, anything that I left out, because inevitably, after I film a video like this, I always think of like 20 other things afterwards. So I'm sure there's a ton more I could recommend if I didn't talk about something that you're interested in. Okay. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.